evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kevin McCullough, and welcome to Special Talk. I'd like to introduce my guest. Lance is a Special Olympics coach. Take it away, Lance. Thank you, Scott. Going on my fourth year with the Special Olympics. Uh, previously, I've been coaching for, geez, about 15 years now. Uh, youth soccer right up to college soccer and currently doing high school soccer. So I've always been interested in, in coaching, but the one thing I've always longed to do was work with the Special Olympics. I have two daughters myself, for, so for a long time I was busy coaching them and, and being a dad, but now since they're both teenagers it freed up a lot of time. And luckily enough I got involved with the Nashville Special Olympics. And I say lucky enough because I've met some great athletes, uh, some great coaches, some great volunteers, and I've been lucky enough to be involved in that one. And that's probably the biggest uh, treasure I've gotten out of that has been all the friendships that I look forward to seeing every winter and working with you guys. Oh yes. Oh yes. And the fun we have at every Olympics, at the opening oh, yes. event right until the very end, which makes us look forward to each one every year. Oh, yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scott McCall. Oh, yeah. At this time, I'd like to introduce oh, Megan Lucier right as a Special Olympics coach. And how did you get involved, Megan? Hi, I'm Coach Megan. I moved back here after college, and I knew that I wanted to get involved with Special Olympics somehow, so I sent some emails, and Coach Dovey invited me to come and I started off as a volunteer for the track and field team and I loved it. I had so much fun and the athletes and the fellow coaches and volunteers meant so much to me that I wanted to stay involved and I was able to take on some head coaching positions and started off with track and field and then it just went from there. I, the coach for softball and then I helped out with bowling and volleyball and now skiing and it's just a lot of fun and the athletes range in all ages from the younger ones to the ones who are around my age and we can hang out both at practice and outside of practice and just really enjoy each other's company. So it's been a great experience and it's a wonderful community to be a part of. Some of my best friends now. Yes and if you want to check out details on the Nashville Special Olympics group Go to www.nationalspecialolympics.org. You must register first before checking out our page. It's actually uh, a lot of information. It tells you from upcoming events on basketball, cross-country skiing, winter games, track and field, softball, and many events. And thank you for joining me on Special Talk. And have a nice evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scott McCullough. Welcome to Special Talk. At this time, I'd like to introduce my guest, Kyle, who's a artist. And he would like to show you, ladies and gentlemen, his art. Okay. Um, I, I'm, I like to do art because I enjoy doing it. And I have a lot of nice drawings. You'd probably like to see. I'll go through them slowly. But... See, I have um, a bunch of drawings here. This first one is the water glass. I just was in a very peaceful mood at that time. I just thought of water, lakes, and stuff, so I had an idea to draw this wa water glass and... Um, yeah, keep, it, keep it still. Yeah, water glass, and I did tons of drawings here. I have um, this parrot. I do a lot of nature stuff. I do a lot of nature. I draw a lot of nature. I walk. I like nature. Like, I like going out like at night looking at the moon and the stars. So there's another drawing in here. I'll get to that in a little bit, though. But I think it's in here. But but then I have um, this close-up version of the parrot. Like, you see it close-up. It looks like closer up. But these, look, these drawings are better in person. But this is the best I could do for now. But And then um, I have this. It's just, I have a cat. I love cats. So I did this cat's eye. Um, this drawing is like a, I try to work the drawings like good that are good like photographs. So I did like a photorealistic drawing of a cat's eye. Um, he just the parrot again. This this is this is a little bit of a, a little bit of a dramatic one. See, this is a thing called the eye of death. It basically represents everybody's going to die someday and how we're all going to face death. So you kind of have to be prepared for it and how it's not a very pleasant thing. But if you believe in God, if you love God, you'll go with him and for eternity if you believe in him. So basically this is a sad picture, but I don't think of it that negatively. But this basically just kind of what this drawing means. It's kind of like a sad looking drawing, but 
Then this one is this. I'm M C Escher did one like this, but I did my own interpretation of it. This is like a man holding a sphere. This is M C Escher. I'll get a close up version. He's holding the sphere, and you see like the guy in it, the, the study in the background. Um, um, see this is what they look like in their frames. Um, I have. I have this, it's Grim Reaper. It's just another one of those dramatic drawings that are just kind of creepy looking. I don't like it that much, but I keep it because it's a good drawing. But, um, <laughs> and then I have this. this is another thing that I like about, I love Jesus, so I did a picture of Jesus and like standing in the clouds. Like, in, like I think, was there a dove up there? I'm uh, trying to figure that out. Can we see the Jesus? Yeah. Just, just, move, uh, just move your fingers because I want to yeah, really get it. Yeah, I'm going to skip. There we go. Um, this is the Jesus. He's standing up in the clouds. Let me just get a bigger picture. Okay. Can I come into the Jesus? Yeah, what? He wants to see it. See, it's beautiful. And I heard, ladies and gentlemen, Kyle, I heard, is going to a art school, actually. If you want to tell them about that experience. Sure. Um, I'm Right now, I'm going to the New Hampshire Institute of Art. I got a B-plus in the last class. Um, I do... They were basically this class wasn't really mostly drawing. It was like the fundamentals of art. Like they taught you about like lighting and stuff like that and how things work with shadows, two point perspective, three point perspective. Like, like they taught you how to draw like three D shapes. Like, like can like this. I too hard to explain, but like yeah, I know how to do it. Like there's certain lines you, like I think. You take the Shadow points form. and you put like your point here, here, and then after that you put. You put another point, and then I start to explain, but I know how to do it. But um, basically, yeah, that's that's um the class I go to. But the last drawing I want to show you was one that that I was telling you about before. It was the, the one of the nature one, like the moon at night. Let me just turn this back on and get to it. But it'll be really quick. Hang on. That's the Bayou one, right? No, no, it's a different one. It's it's um it's just it's kind of like just like a moon a moonlight picture. I'm, I just gotta get to it. The, but from what I was talking about nature earlier, I just gotta. It's in here. Hang on a sec. Hey, while you're looking, here it is, right shirt. here. It's like, what did I just do? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we're having technical, technical difficulty. difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here it is. It's like moonlight on the ocean. <laughs> It's um, it's, it's just because I like the moon and the stars, so I just do I do a lot of nature stuff. Okay, well that's all. Thank you very much. Have a nice night. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scott McCullough, and welcome back to Special Talk. At this time, I'd like to interview Coach. I'd like to inter introduce Coach Colleen Demaris. Coach Colleen Demers, I'm the head of coaches for National Special Olympics. And Scott, what can I do for you today? How many, what do you enjoy about Special Olympics? What I love most about Special Olympics is what I get back from everybody else. The energy and the peace and the love that's around in the room and with everybody is just amazing. There's a certain amount of energy there that just makes you want to go, go, go all the time. Um, Whenever I'm coaching, after coaching, it's absolutely the best day of my week. I've been coaching basketball for about 15 years. I've been with National Special Olympics for eight years now. And I've been coaching Scott for six years yes. with basketball. He's an unbelievable basketball player. Oh, yes, player. I am. I don't think so. No? Okay. Scott's up here doing cross-country skiing this year, and uh, he's been a prior gold medal yes. winner for uh, cross country skiing and he also was on my basketball team last year yes. with coach Doty. She's the head basketball coach and we won um, for the past three years we've won the gold medal for the basketball team and the name of our team is the Eagles. And Nashua Special Olympics um, not only in also encompasses Pelham, Hudson, Wyndham, um, it's also for the surrounding town, towns too. Everybody's welcome. <laughs> or if you'd like to check out more information, please go to www.nashuaspecialolympics.org. Please register before going to the page and checking out the information. 
the website will be right below your screen. Please visit our following website to get more information and to register. Thank you. Thank you and have a nice evening. Um, it's also for the surrounding time, towns too. Everybody's welcome. <laughs> or if you'd like to check out more information, please go to www.nashuaspecialolympics.org. Please register before going to the page and checking out the information. The website will be right below your screen. Please visit our following website to get more information and to register. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scott McCullough, and welcome back to Special Talk. I'm reporting from Waterville Valley, actually, a cold country, actually, and I'm doing my events and doing a 100 meter cross country and 200 meter cross country this morning, actually, and it's very, very cold, but it's very windy, but we have snow on the ground that you see. We got snow on the ground. It is amazing that it's event actually does this many volunteers that we have volunteers that are behind us and we got we got officials that will call the race right down the middle and they'll make sure that they call it nice and even and it's a wonderful morning it's a little bit cold out here actually and hopefully you'll enjoy the coverage of this Waterville Valley Special Olympics Games, and I'll talk to you later. Thank my you. My name is Scott McCullough, and I'm from Special Talk, and I'm doing my time trials from the Special Olympics Winter Games up at Waterville Valley. You can see there's some snow, actually. You see that there's some snow on the ground, thank God. And my girlfriend, actually, is a cross-country skier also. Uh -huh. If you want to introduce yourself. I'm uh, Jen Ferdinand, I'm Scott McCullough's girlfriend. I've been on his team almost a year and we're in April. And I do the same cross country yeah, event like he does. And do you want to talk about the time trial? And that's what we're doing the time trial for the 100 and the... 200. Yeah. And the time trials, they're going to be testing your, your time to yes. see how... Yeah. To see how fast you yes. Yeah. And I also do uh, other sports with Scott also. I do the softball, I do track and field, I do bowling, I also volunteer in basketball. Uh, let's see. And hopefully people will check out our website at www.nashuaspecialolympics.org. And go to Nashua. Go Nashua. Please register before going to our website as it is it is a thing that you gotta register before you go onto our page. Yeah exactly. For more information or to volunteer, go to our website and help out. We need volunteers especially for basketball, bowling, track and field, cross country skiing and several more events that are coming up this year. And Thank if, you. In about two weeks, in two, you go to uh, Keene for basketball. Yes, we do. That That's on be... the 17th. Yes, it is. 8 a.m. to 4. Yes, it is. And if you want to join us, ladies and gentlemen, it's at Keene State College. It's March 17th is the state turn or the, the assessment. Assessments, assessment round. Basically, that means we'll getting they, every team, every uh, yeah, every team that they'll assess if they bounce us up one division or keep us in the same division. Pretty much, that's what it does. It keeps us in the same divisions against the teams we're playing. And the big tournament is it's March 30 and 31st. Yes. And if you want to come out to that, and that's in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, on March 30th and 31st. Yeah. And that will be the state basketball tournament. There will be several teams from uh, Plus Pride, National Nashua. Special Olympics, Hudson, several teams all around New England that 
actually what about the participate. Guys, what about the team you guys were last year? The uh, New Hampshire Rock Cats. Yeah. Uh, the Manchester Mustangs. Other teams. There's several teams that actually come around and actually play basketball. And there's several teams here from uh, from Nashua. From of course, uh, Rory. Got the athlete that's Tim. You also have snowshoers. Snowshoes, yes, right? we have snowshoers. We got some team. We got some team from Team New Hampshire, I think. Also, we got team from Team New Hampshire. Merrimack, New Hampshire. Merrimack, New Hampshire. Uh, I can't tell which team that is from. Which team are you from? They, I ask. And that's my friend Kerry from Derry, New Hampshire. That's hey, Derry. That's Derry Tim Timberwolf. No, Challenger. Derry Challengers. I know that's you, the Mr. Derry, Derry team. There's several teams from Derry, Nashua, no, and surrounding towns. And hopefully you'll enjoy the coverage, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me on Special Talk. I will be back later to cover more of the winter games. Thank you.
This is the best race of the day, this, this group right here. Yeah. You can see them all trying to cheat. <laughs> Great guy. Super buddy. Hi, hi, hi. Yep, everybody's rooting you on, bud.
So if they're your cheerleaders, I'm good. Oh, 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 Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scott McCullough. I'm reporting you live. I'm reporting live from Waterville Valley for a special talk. My program special talk. My name is Scott McCullough, and I just won the bronze. I won the third place medal, and it felt so good. Hey, if I don't get first today, I can always get first tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully, good luck to all the competition. Good luck to all the compete. All the competitors tomorrow morning is a real competition, actually. Good luck to everybody in their competition. Thank you for joining me on. Thank you for joining me on Special Talk. Thank you. Bye. I mean, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scott McCullough, and welcome back to Special Talk. And at this time, I'd like to introduce Coach Dan, who's a snowshoeing coach. Uh, yes, I coach uh, snowshoeing, and this is my second year of coaching snowshoeing for National Special Olympics. Uh, my son has been doing snowshoeing, and we were in need of a coach, so my husband and I stepped up and decided to, to take on the team, and we've had a great time with it. Uh, my son has been involved with Special Olympics for a number of years now. I'm trying to think it's probably been 10 years, maybe, that we've been involved with Special Olympics. And uh, we do, um, we've done swimming and track and and bowling in addition to the, uh, the snowshoeing. Um, we'd love to have some more teammates come yes. out um, and help us out with uh, Special Olympics, whether you want to volunteer or participate. Um, we have a great time. Uh, it's, snowshoeing is very easy to do, probably easier than you cross-country skiers yes. have it. And it um, <laughs> I don't think so. No, you don't. <laughs> and uh, it's very easy. Um, all you need is a pair of snowshoes, and we actually have some snowshoes, so you don't even need to bring your own. And um, it's a it's a great time. Some good exercise for everybody. And uh, we've really enjoyed it. We're having a great time here at Waterville Valley. Uh, the conditions are excellent. Um, we've already done one race, and we have one more this afternoon, and then two tomorrow. So uh, lots of lots of fun happening here. Morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Scott McCullough and welcome back to Special Talk and at this time I'd like to introduce Timmy Heskett, a athlete from Nashua Special Olympics who would like to talk about his involvement in a Special Olympics. I am in cross country skiing and I am doing the 100 meter, 200 meter and 50 meter um, races um, at Waterville Valley. Yes, at Waterville Valley. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We are reporting to you at Waterville Valley Resort. Sorry to say, sorry, I forgot to say that. And the people are very nice here. And if you'd like more information on Nashua Special Olympics, go to www.nashuaspecialolympics.org. Please register first before you do, before you do go on our page, www.nashuaspecialolympics.org for more information on all the events like cross-country skiing, basketball, bowling, several events that are through the years, or through, through so many programs, so many, so many events that we greatly appreciate volunteers. We need volunteers, athletes, more partners. If you're interested, please visit the following website right below your screen. Thank you for joining me at 
Thank you for joining me on Special Talk. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jennifer Luce. I'm a co-host. I'm not Silver Access. I'm the co-host and my producer, Scott McCullough. He's the producer. At this time, I'd like to introduce our Questions, Key Coast, Lori Haskett. Thank you, Jennifer. Hi, um, I'm Lori Haskett. I've been involved in the National Special Olympics for 14 years. I'm the cross country ski coach. Our athletes today will be doing the uh, 50 meter, the 100 meter, and the 200 meter events here in beautiful Waterville Valley. Um, our skiing conditions today are just perfect. I personally have been part of Special Olympics for about 14 years, and what makes Special Olympics special are the people involved. Um, what Special Olympics is about is not only the sports aspect of it, but also the, the social aspect and the developing of relationships. And, and, and for me, I've I've just met the most amazing people in my life through the Special Olympics program. Um, and I'm just so happy to be part of National Special Olympics. And if you want some more information, you can go to our website, nationalspecialolympics.org. And you have to, have to sign up. You have to register. You have to register online. At, uh, at nationalspecialolympics.org. At nationalspecialolympics.org. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scott McCullough. Welcome to Access Nashua. Welcome to Special Talk at Waterville Valley with all these night nice athletes. And yeah. at this time, I'd like to introduce David from the Hawkinson Hawks. Hawkinson Hawks to talk about his experience in Special Olympics. <laughs> Take it away, Dave. Um, well, I've been doing social learning since like ninth grade, and it's like been really fun. Like my coach, Mr. O.D., he actually asked me if I want to go to Waterville and do like skiing. And I'm like, okay. So me, my sister, and him, just a few of us, we got more people to the, like the years gone, but it's been fun, and like I kind of like doing it. And as you like, again, I like how they do stuff, and like. It's really fun. And also meet new friends like Scott right here. Oh yeah. So <laughs> yeah I've been, been, I went been through twice. Yeah. <laughs> twice in the race. I'm like, I was like, I do not want to race against him. And I'm like, come on, I'm racing, being like a cat. It's been fun. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on Special Talk. Uh, hopefully you will be back sometime soon. Thank you. Yeah, and I'm yeah, and I'm halfway down. Um, I think you're gonna see John Stroker too. He's gonna be down there with Kerry. All right, once the girls are done, like once Nikki's done, if you guys want to take Nikki Liz and Kerry back to the room. All right, and then just let me know. If John
this. Are you taping? Uh, yeah, I'm taping this. It's going to go on uh, National Access. Scott McCullough is putting the show together. Oh, nice. So he's doing it with interviews and stuff, so I'll interview him nice. afterwards. So. Yeah, we 
This is Don coming. Don, Michael, Don, Michael, and David from my DJ, let's go. Don, Michael, and David. Come on, DJ. I would not stand in his way. Go, DJ. Go, DJ. Good job. Oh, <laughs> Drop the gate. Uh oh. What did you do? I'll stop. Yep. Five yard penalty. Alright. Someone started too soon. Ready, guys? Oh, yeah, I'll tell you what I want out there in the office. They only gave you one shot at that minute. She really yeah, wants yeah, to win this. Boom. And that was it. <laughs> and you're out. No, that's oh, yeah. true. That's true in aquatics, too. Good job. Good job. Good job. Let's go, Gary. Good job. Come on, Gary. Good job. Reporting you from Waterville Valley from Special Talk. I'd like to introduce Josh. 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 I'd like to introduce Josh, who's a Special Olympics athlete. He'd like to talk about his involvement in Special Olympics. Well, there, I'm Scott. I'm pretty much like, pretty much ever since I was like, um, how to say, it's like really young. I pretty much always like to try something, you know, like. Pretty much, I've always liked to do some skiing and stuff, and pretty much, uh, I just, I know it's like um, when pretty much I, it feels pretty good, you know, like, like pretty much like when you're, the only thing that, pretty much that will keep you like, you know, on the line, it's like, if you're, if you're like over the line, then you can slip, but as long as like, you're staying on there, then you're, you're pretty much out of there. Oh, yeah. Oh, there already is? Okay. Oh, there no matter is. what. Okay. Mr. Burgoyne's down there. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, I like to have one more thing, too. Yes, okay. How'd you do? Um, yeah. There's no more. No matter what. Uh, oh, bummer. No matter what happens, still, as long as you gave it your heart, it's pretty much good. Good job. Yes. Thank you for joining me on Special Talk. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scott McCullough, and welcome to Special Talk. I just finished up my final race, the 50 meter, and I just won first place in the 50 meter. And my girlfriend actually just, my co-host just did a very good job also. She won third place, I believe. She did a very good job also. And a lot of the athletes did fantastic through every race. They did amazingly and hopefully You'll be seeing some of this coverage, some of it on YouTube and some of it on Access Nashua because they're going to put some on YouTube and some on Access Nashua, channel 96. If you want to check it out, or go to www.accessnashua.org to check out more information on Access Nashua. Thank you for joining us at Waterville Valley, the Winter Games. This is Scott McCullough reporting live from Waterville Valley. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice afternoon. <laughs>